Yo, what's happening, 2K family? 2K Mechanic back with another build video for you guys. You know, first point of order, I want to say express gratitude and say thanks to everybody that's come through the channel, viewed the channel, subscribed, uh, or just is just come through looking uh, to all the returning members, new members. Hello, hope you guys are having a fantastic day and girls, because you know some some women do check the vids out because women do play 2K as well. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, so. In this video, we're gonna have a comp one guard. I'm gonna give you guys a comp one guard. You could do multiple iterations of what you think comp is, you know, and I might do multiple videos, the different builds of what I think comp is. All right, so this is just the first one. Um, you guys, like like most of my build videos, can use it as a template and then kind of reformat it to fit whatever build desire that you wanna go with or whatever style that you like to play with. So. We're gonna go ahead and, and showcase what we got today. All right, so first name and last name entirely up to you. Position is point guard, of course. Handing is right or left, depending on your personal preference, as well as the jersey number. Let's continue. All right, so for this one, the height is 1.79 meters, which is 5'11", if I'm correct. Uh, yeah, five, I think it's close to 5'11". Uh, weight is 74 kilograms. Wingspan is 1.83. Uh, body shape solid compact or whatever you know a lot of the comp guards they want to be slight uh just so they can uh i guess get the illusion that they are moving faster but you already know i like my guys a little beefy just how, how i like to roll all right let's go continue let's get into the build all right so the reason why we went that sh this short is you know i wanted your advantage to be uh shooting right so i gave you a 99 three-point shot you know, so with a 99 three-point shot, you're able to get pretty much every badge Hall of Fame except difficult shots, right? So you still get 84 midi if you want to take those shots just to be glitchy a little bit, but you get a 99 three-point. So I don't want anybody talking about messaging me saying, I can't shoot on this build, right? I can't green consistently on this build. You got a 99 three shot, no excuses. All right, so in, in order to get a 99 three-point shot, you got to take your wingspan down pretty low. And when you take your wingspan down, wingspan down low, you can only get like an 80 driving dunk, which should be fine. Uh, let's look at it. We get 12 finishing badges. So, you know, you're able to get fast twitch and pretty much everything on silver. Uh, silver posterizers is all you need to get some of those contact dunk, but not contact dunk animations. So you'll be able to boom and go to the hole. You get those quick drop in dunks. You get the little tomahawk dunks, um, the little str uh, straight arm tomahawk dunk, which is which are hard to block. Trust me, I have them on my DXJ build, uh, my six foot build, and I rarely, especially if you play threes, you're not gonna get blocked. Trust me. Uh, so we, t we get twelve finishing. All right. So the shooting we get, like I said, thirty five. So you get pretty much every badge Hall of Fame except difficult shots. Um, if you and if you play a comp, you gonna want this blinders Hall of Fame. You gonna want uh, mismatch expert Hall of Fame. You gonna want that stop and pop Hall of Fame, sniper Hall of Fame. You want those badges as high as you get if you're trying to be comp, right? Um, you playing stage or five v five pro am, where y'all gonna probably play a zone most likely. You're not playing man. So you don't need really any cra crazy defensive badges, right? Uh, so 84 mid range, 99 three point shot. Free throw is an 80. You should be able to shoot with an 80, no issues. Um, Cause I know I said 70, 70 is good for Rick, but maybe for uh, Pro-Am you want a little bit higher on the free throw just to make sure you green on shots. But if you know your jump shot, you should be good. Um, I've heard that, you know, a lot of the comp guys have 60, 65. Uh, when I say comp, I'm talking about pro am, five v five, um, and they're able to shoot green their shots, no issues. All right, all right. So with the playmaking, we get 36. Uh, so you get 97 pass accuracy, 93 uh, ball handle, and 95 speed with ball. I wanted to make you as fast as you can with the speed with ball, because that's the most important step for a point guard. Um, 
as well as a little speed and acceleration, but we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so you get pretty much everything Hall of Fame except unpluckable. You need a 99 ball handle to get unpluckable, which is a little bit more, which is a little bit unreasonable. You have to, you have to go like five eight, five eight ish if you want Hall of Fame unpluckable. But if you know how to combo up and dribble, which I mean, if you comp, you kind of need to know how to be able to dribble and maneuver. Um, uh, go works just fine, right? So you're able to get Hall of Fame bullet passer. Hall of Fame Mule Threader, you know, pretty much everything Hall of Fame except Ankle Breaker, uh, Diver Floor General, and Unpluckable, right? All right, so there's 36 playmaking badges. Let's look at the defense. So we get 18 total defensive badges. Uh, so I gave you 76 on the perimeter. That should give you uh, clamps on silver. Uh, you got Pick Dodger Silver, right? And you're able to get Hustler Hall of Fame if you want to do that. Gave you a 90 steal that gives you Hall of Fame and Interceptor, and you have Gold Pickpocket, right? And then also with that perimeter defense, you get Silver Anchor Braces if you feel the need to take it that high. Um, and then I gave you a 54 block. Now you don't get Chase Down Artist because you need, I think, like a 57, but you do get Intimidator, right? So Intimidator works really well, uh, especially this season. Uh, I've always argued that Intimidator always worked. It's just that I don't think most people know how to play defense and, you know, right stick wise and have proper closeouts and play good hands on defense. Um, not in the paint, but, you know, on the perimeter. But anyway, you know, the 54 is the absolute minimum you need to unlock Intimidator. So you get 18 defensive badges, right? That's a little bit better than some of the other guards, right? So you should be able to clamp up and play your zone a little bit easy on on the defensive end right even with the shorter build all right so the physicals you got 88 speed 92 acceleration right because acceleration is probably a little bit more important than the speed uh just just on those fast break transition uh you know if you need to save a bucket or you're trying to get a bucket you know you can accelerate get to the corner pretty well you know, I gave you guys a little speed on this build. I don't have speed, but strength on this build so you can to help you clamp up a little bit. And then also uh, another benefit of strength is, and I don't think I've said it on this channel, um, but it helps you slide past uh, people that don't have strength a little bit better, right? Even if they got clamps, right? If you don't have, if they don't have any strength or the same strength as you, you're able to dribble and slide off of them a little bit better versus them bodying you, bodying you up. Uh, but if you're great, if you're a great dribbler, then it doesn't really affect you that much. But a little strength goes a long ways, guys. Trust me. All right, vertical, uh, standard 60, so you can for the driving dunk at an 80, and then the stamina I gave you a 95. All right, so of course the takeovers you're able to get is shot creator, uh, sharpshooter, and playmaking take. So I just gave you limitless range and team takeover boost. All right, so let's finish this. And of course you get a playmaking shot creator. Uh, that's pretty much the, the standard name that you get for these type of builds. Shades of Mike Connolly, Mark Price, Fred Van Vliet. Let's go ahead and test this build, see how we allocate these badges. All right, so this should be pretty easy. Get a posterizer, slithery, little silver. All right, so we got three badges to play with. We'll go ahead and get that pro touch. Fast Twitch and Unstrippable. All right, so we got 35. Let's do that blinders. Let's put this Dead Eye Silver. Green Machine, at least bronze. Lucky Seven Bronze. Let's put this Stop and Pop on Gold. Mismatch Hall of Fame. Ozone Hunter Hall of Fame. Let's see what else. So yeah, we gotta put this sniper hall of fame. So that gives us five left. Uh, let's think. Oh, we need the circus threes on gold or hall of fame, depending on what you want to do. If you put a hall of fame, that's gonna be all your badges. You want that clutch shooter at least on uh, bronze, and you'll probably want to run volume shooter. Uh, honorable mentions you could have you could put some you know rhythm shooter elite silver you might want to put corner specialist 
Uh, I mean, you're going to be, if you're working, I see comp, you're not going to be shooting in the corner too much. It'll be more so on the perimeter shooting. So you may not need corner specialists. Uh, Chef would be a pretty good badge if you want to add that as well. Um, just if, you, if you're doing like the little size ups and stuff like that behind the screen. And then you get a little, a little deep and Chef badge could help. But I think what we have here um, will definitely help you out. I mean, you can take this down and add those two badges somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, it should work like this. All right, let's go to the playmaking. So playmaking, we get 36. Uh, let's see. Now, depending if you play, if you play a uh, stage or something like that, then you know you can probably run this. Mm. You know, most of the combos the comp players do, you don't really need hyperdrive, but you can put that up. I mean, we got it. We got our ball handle up so we get hyperdrive on Hall of Fame. I don't think it's necessary, in my opinion. Pluckable. All right, so you're gonna need glue hands, at least silver. Quick first step. So that gives you four badges to play with. Um. I would say let's take bullet passer to gold. Gold is pretty good. All right, so you get six badges to play with. So now you got to pick what you want: space crane or tight handles, or you could do both. Put them gold. Oh, that's four. Damn, that's four too. Let's see. Let's take glue hands down. The, I mean, you're going to be primary ball handler, so you won't be catching and shooting. So, let's do glue hands, bronze. Let's give you, uh, let's give you gold space creator. Um, the other thing is, like you say, you get seven bonus points, seven additional badge points uh, when you do your rebirth. And then also you get that's four, then three additional badge points if you completed the seasons. So you could put some in the playmaking and shooting. I mean, really just put them in the playmaking and shooting. You might want to add probably four to shooting, three to playmaking. And then you could do, let's see, three. And then you can get needle threader if you want, if you believe in needle threader. I like needle threader. Um, it's not, you know, a lot of people say, you know, if you got needle threader, you can't pass. But if you're playing comp, you know, you're gonna probably want this needle threader up a little bit, in my opinion. So maybe you need three, put it here, gold, or put put this somewhere else. I'll let you guys think about that. But put all your badges in the shooting and playmaking. All right. All right. So defense, uh, you want the intimidator, you want hustler, at least silver. Let's put the gold pickpocket. Interceptor Hall of Fame clamps, um, and then we'll do one for ankle braces, and then you could do either one off ball pest if you're playing 5v5. I mean, playing 3v3, you have to worry about screens if you're in stage, right? Because you'll need a corner, so you can just put that on a uh, Dang, I thought you'd be able to put it on Hustler. Uh, let's see, where, where do we want to put this? Let's put it on Tireless Defender. That'll help a little bit on the defensive end. All right, y'all. It's my comp one guard build. So, yeah, hope you guys can use this build. Like I say, just use my build as a template. If you want the 99.3, if you don't, if you want to bring it down a little bit, um, you can bring it down a little bit and then add maybe some into finishing if you want to do that. But like I said, if you want con if you want pro contact dunks, but like I said, 80 driving dunk is more than enough, especially if you're playing threes you know, with the speed and you know the, the launch you get and you got quick dunks, you're not going to be able to get blocked. Straight on Tomahawks, you won't get blocked. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts on that. All right, y'all, 2K Mechanics signing out. Appreciate you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.